Wow, it's been uh, it's been a while since I had time to to do a video. Uh, so this is going to be sort of a series on you know how to sort of all the essentials that you need in order to be a good three D modeler. And so before I sort of tell you about that, the first thing that you're going to do is go over to uh, www.blender.org and go to the download page and download the most recent version of Blender, which as of right now is three point four point one. So I'm just going to download download a copy of this, save it somewhere, and then run the install. So this is going to be more like a course. This will be a series where I'm going to sort of teach you all of the things that I think you need to know in order to set you on your journey to sort of you know becoming a good 3D modeler. All right, once this is finished downloading, go ahead and click on the file to open it, and click Next, accept the license terms, and next and install and then wait for this to finish installing. Now when you first open Blender you're going to be greeted with this screen. It may change in later versions of Blender but for 3.4.1 this is what you see when you open Blender for the first time and we are actually going to change something here. Uh, the spacebar currently is set to play and that's really useful if you do a lot of animations uh, but if you're not doing animations uh, it's better to have spacebar set to search because search is something that you're going to be using quite a lot. Everything else we're going to leave at default here and then hit save new settings and then we're going to be greeted with this window which is the window that you'll see every time you open Blender from now on. Now by default it has a general file loaded in the background so you can just click off of this anywhere and this window will just go away and keep that file open or you can just click on general and it will do the same thing. And you'll notice in our scene we've got uh, we've got a couple of objects. We've got uh, this light here. We've got we've got this our camera, and we've got this default cube that is here every time you open Blender. And that's it. That's all we have inside here. Now, if you're like me and you have a compact keyboard that doesn't have a number pad, we're gonna have to change some settings in order to enable that. So we're gonna go up here into Edit Preferences. And then under input, I'm just going to tick on emulate numpad. And what that does is normally the, the number pad keys control how you switch between different view modes. Uh, emulating numpad puts those uh, essentially on the, the number keys that are at the top of your keyboard. So now, uh, whereas before this wouldn't work, if I click one, two, three, four, zero, uh, that will change the, the different perspectives uh, that you get when, you, uh, when you're looking in the viewport. So if you don't have a number pad, you have to turn that on. Now the next thing we're going to turn on is we're going to go down to System, and here under Cycles Rendered Devices, you'll see it's currently set to None. It starts with None as default. Uh, I'm going to turn on Optics because I have a newer RTX graphics card, and which setting you choose here will depend on what kind of graphics card is installed in your computer. Uh, it'll tell you uh, if you click on one of these, like for example, if I click on HIP, it'll say that you don't have any compatible devices. Uh, so it'll it'll let you know what kind of graphics card you currently have installed here. Uh, if you have a newer RTX graphics card, I think Optics is the is the newest one. There's also CUDA. Both of these are for NVIDIA graphics cards. If you have an AMD graphics card, then you'll select HIP. And if you have an Intel graphics card, then you'll select one API. I'm going to select Optics and leave it like that because I have an NVIDIA GPU. And by the way, if you skipped that initial message where you could change the setting um, from for spacebar uh, from play to search, you can also do that here under key map. If you look under spacebar action, you can always come back and change these uh, as needed. Now there's one more thing that I want to do, and that is to enable the GPU uh, rendering for cycles, which is our, uh, our photorealistic renderer. So on the right hand, panel here you have this uh, render properties it's the little picture of the camera if you just click on that there's a little drop down menu here that says render engine EV we're gonna click that and change it to cycles we're not gonna be using this right now really but we are gonna be using this quite a bit later on and so it's good to have this it's good to have this set on and uh, under device it currently says CPU I'm gonna click that drop down menu and change it to GPU so the reason we're doing this is because when you load in Blender, it will reset these settings every time to CPU, and that gets really annoying because uh, you know most of the time you're gonna you're gonna be want to be using your GPU for rendering. So even though we enabled GPU hardware accelerated rendering in the preferences, it will still by default select CPU uh, from the render device list here unless you change it. 
uh, and that's still current as of 3.4.1 and the reason for that is because the default renderer is set to EV rather than rather than cycles and when you open up this menu these are just set at default so we're gonna go here to file uh, defaults and it says save startup file click once and it's gonna check do you want to do this uh, save startup file and then click it again to confirm and now those settings are saved so that from now on whenever you open blender it's going to open with gpu uh, accelerated rendering enabled that's really all of the first time setup that we need to do there are a couple of the thing a couple of other things that we might add later on uh, but we're not going to worry about them until we get there so uh, i'll see you in the next video